Greetings, family. Welcome to the Navas Kitchen. Let's make Vitumboa. And Vitumboa is actually rice cake that's lightly fried. It is had mainly during breakfast in Swahili cuisine. So I learned this when I was in um, Tanzania recently. Let's go over the ingredients. You need two cups of rice. This is any long grain rice, even short grain will work here. I'm using jasmine and I am soaking it overnight with some water. And off to the fridge it goes. Soaking it in the fridge overnight prevents fermentation. Next day, you want to rinse it thoroughly. Now we soak it so we can soften the grains and blend it into a very smooth puree. Now after rinsing it, it goes straight into the blender. Then we add the following ingredients. Here I have coconut milk and I'm using a total of 400 milliliters of coconut milk. I'm adding the rest of the coconut milk to it. Vitumboa is sweet, so you need some granulated sugar. The amount is to your taste, but remember that it's sweet. Vitumboa is also lightly spiced, so we add a pinch of nutmeg, and you must have cardamom in there. That is not omittable. All right, and then you add some salt. They typically don't add salt, but you would love the salt in here. Here is why. The sweetness needs to be balanced with the salt, absolutely. So in other words, without the salt, you will feel the need to keep adding more sugar which we want to prevent so now you need to add a leavener to your vitumbua to help it to rise and create bubbles in it so this mixture is a combination of dry active yeast a quarter cup of water and a teaspoon of sugar and i stirred it together covered it with that kitchen towel and left it on the kitchen counter to prove over 10 minutes so that's where that foaminess comes from so add it to your rice mixture stir it together and cling film it and create that vent which i'm doing right now to keep the yeast alive now leave it on your kitchen counter for about an hour and by then it should have proofed beautifully what you want to see is those bubbles and a slight rice to the mixture now let's make the vitumboa you need your frying vessel this vessel is actually available on amazon.com although i picked mine up from tanzania Dar es Salaam. you want to go into each compartment and grease it up with some cooking oil you want to give it about half a tablespoon of cooking oil to create that lubricated surface to prevent the vitumboa from sticking while cooking all right and then you're going to fill those compartments up leave about a centimeter or two unfilled to prevent the vitumboa from bubbling and frying over now anything that's proofed must be stirred or some of the air must be removed before heat is applied this way you're not ending up just frying a lot of air right it become way too light okay so here we go we are frying by the way on medium low with emphasis on low so my stove heat level goes all the way up to 10 and i'm frying on four okay medium low for sure now you can go in with a little more oil if you feel the need to what you want to see is the oil bubbling all right around the vitumboa that will give you that peace of mind that it is not sticking all right now you're gonna go in with a skewer to help you flip it just like that and the key is it must still be runny when you go to flip it that way you can you will end up with the, the uh, spherical shape if it's all set before you flip it you will end up with half a sphere <laughs> okay all right and the skewer should help you to flip it real easy if you have a little spillage no worries just kind of tuck it in all right friends and you can go in with a little more oil at this stage to cook the other side so just kind of use eyeball it and use your own discretion and it took about three minutes on each side the key is to make sure that your vitumboa is cooked also in the middle and the way to know that is to go into each vitumboa at a 90 degree angle with the skewer if it's still runny you will see the runniness coming through um, 
the hole you made with the skewer. All right, and flipping it back and forth like this also helps to speed the process of cooking it through, leaving the middle also cooked completely through. And you want a golden brown color to it with um, some white peeking through, just beautiful. Now, Vitumbua is a popular street food in Tanzania and other East African countries such as Kenya. It is had mainly during breakfast, so you'll find it on the streets of Dar es Salaam. Now, when we were there, one thing I noticed which was hard to miss is that breakfast is a very important meal for Swahili people. When you go into the restaurants, you will find your vitumbua alongside your chapatis and your mandazis served with their favorite famous chai, which is tea. And then they also had some savory pastries during breakfast time, especially samosas. And I have shared samosa recipe on this channel, by the way, if you're interested. Now, when you open one up, you should see the holes. It must have a chew to it that is the preferred texture and the outer layer also must be nice and crispy and give you that crunch here is some chai and chai is a black tea and it is spiced with cinnamon ginger cardamom cloves i like mine plain without milk my husband prefers it with milk so here we have it i'm just sprinkling on a little more cinnamon and that is a typical Swahili breakfast. And because this is a leavened pastry with the yeast, you should find those holes when you open it up. Very signature to Vitumbua. And my husband tried it and said, this is a good Vitumbua recipe. So he has given it his approval and I am excited to share the recipe with you. Please try it. Come back with your feedback. I hope you've learned a thing or two and are um, inspired to try it. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below and don't forget to share the video as well also watch more videos it is chop time and here in anava's kitchen chop time is always yes friends so pull up a chair we are all friends and family here <laughs>